welcome to The Conscious Investor. Let's get started. Welcome back. I am so grateful that you are here listening once again to a rip roaring episode. And this is going to be even more exceptional than ever before because I have Jeff Hotch on here. And I'm so excited to have you after waiting so long on the recording schedule. So welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here, Julie. Yeah, it's exciting. So I think we initially met via LinkedIn. I think excited. LinkedIn and our dear friend, uh, Yona Weiss, we've been a number of times on his meetup groups and challenges. So yeah, we've seen each other quite a bit over the last uh, year and a half or so. Absolutely. Right. And it's been fun. I love the content that you produce. And I always encourage people, especially if you're a business professional of any kind and you are not on LinkedIn, you know, so many of my amazing, extraordinary guests like Jeff are people that I have met via LinkedIn. And I have, you know, a year and a half later, it's like, man, I got to have you on the show. So uh, make sure you hop over to LinkedIn and that you connect up with Jeff. And Jeff, you know, this is an episode where I, we just want to introduce you. Okay? You know, who are you? What are you doing in life? That could sure. be business, however you want to take the question. Okay, so I'll take it first from a business perspective. So I'm Jeff Hawk. I'm from eProperty Care. We're a smart building technology firm, and we work with owners, operators, and developers, uh, absolutely with a concentration on multifamily uh, real estate, but we are involved with other projects in other asset classes like military housing and single family rental properties. So that's what I do uh, by day, and a lot of outreach as far as LinkedIn and informing people about the technology. I think a lot of people have heard about smart building technology or smart cities or IOT, but what I like to do is really spend the time with people like yourself to look at a property or a project and, and educate them on how they could use the technology really with an eye towards uh, improving their revenue, driving out expense, boosting NOI. So that's by, that's by day. Uh, by night, I'm a husband, I'm a father. I have uh, three kids and a step and a fourth by my second marriage, a stepdaughter. So four children uh, all together. Today happens to be my wedding anniversary. Uh, oh, my goodness. Married, Happy married anniversary. Three, yes, married three years to my wonderful wife, Nina. So together we have uh, the four children. Actually, my oldest daughter is married. So I have a son-in-law. So five uh, kids that I interact with. And that's kind of by uh, by night. So busy family guy also. Oh, I love that. And I love that you include your son-in-law is like, nope, he's not one of mine. Like, that's just endearing. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it gets, it gets to a certain point where, yeah, four kids, five kids, you just start tacking them on. I, I hear, I hear once you pass three, it's, you know, the, the number doesn't matter. It's just, they're absolutely. all ours. <laughs> absolutely. 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 So yeah. The um, uh, business life, busy personal life, but thank God all, all great stuff. You know what, man, what a great outlook on all of it. Um, and that doesn't surprise me at all. And so I'm curious, I have had, you know, a couple of previous guests over the last 160 plus episodes, there have been two guests that have come on and spoken about smart technology, mm -hmm. but everyone has a different perspective on it or their company ap approach is a little unique. And mm -hmm. that's what attracts people to different companies is, you know, what is it that that defines smart technology for your company. And um, maybe we can start there. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess one of the things that uh, makes us different than some of the competitors uh, is the fact that we do everything over cellular. A lot of the products that are in the industry today are Wi-Fi based, we're cell uh, based. The reason why we are uh, it's ubiquitous. It's everywhere. The cellular networks in the country, U.S. and Canada, international. Uh, the ability to implement that is very, very cost effective. We start out with a cellular hub on our projects. It's $125. So for buildings that don't have internet access or owners that don't want to put in a dedicated 
uh, broadband connection or, or network for monitoring. You don't have to. Uh, as far as the comprehensive nature of our suite of products, we're not a door lock uh, only solution or video only solution. We do water uh, leak detection, water monitoring, water shutoff. We have an amazing valve that could detect leaks and close the water in 30 seconds of detecting a problem. We have analytics around consumption of water, uh, also thermostat product integration with uh, Yale locks. So a very great solution around uh, locks. And then we get into video cameras, video intercoms, lighting, audio, smart outlet. So in one uh, platform, we could do all these uh, different modalities. And then we also integrate with the popular property management systems, Yardi, Upfolio, Entrada, RealPage. So that that's crucial for a lot of owners too. So I would say we're different because we're comprehensive and we're cellular. That, that is a difference right there, um, just by nature, because a lot of them are internet based, if I'm recalling correctly. Yeah, I mean, what they're Wi Fi based or Wi Fi first. Uh, some, some have cellular. What I would say is to really look at the bake off. Uh, we've included in our website, uh, www.epropertycare.com, uh, some matrices that show the difference between us and, and the world. I think everyone's great, but we kind of line out how how we're different than everyone else. So definitely check that out. It's a great site. That's right. So it kind of sounds like, hey, if I have any type of, you know, real estate asset, if I'm holding a real estate asset of any kind, really, your company, ePropertyCare, Care, can come in and install and provide all these smart technology um, components for me. Mm -hmm. Now, then... Since we know who wants that, why would they want to go this route? Why would they want that smart technology? Why would they want it? So basically, a number of different reasons. I think if you look at the uh, NOI formula, NOI is revenue minus expense. Mm -hmm. In the class A, B product, new construction, people are looking at smart technology as a revenue uh, driver where they can charge more for having the tech enablement. New construction deliveries absolutely want it. If you're in a competitive marketplace where let's say you know, you're a 1990s uh, vintage product, as an example, and you have a new construction delivery across from you, how are you gonna stay competitive? You're gonna put some tech in and you can monetize around it. So you're, you're now positive on the revenue side of the NOI model. Then let's look at the other side, the expense, the expense lines. How can we take out expense? You go to an electronic lock, you could avoid rekeying. You could avoid lockouts. You can do stuff with work orders where people can get in and out of the units. You could do unattended showings of the units. You can prevent water damage you know, by shutting off the water. You could detect minute leaks where you're wasting water. You could become more efficient on your sewer expense. Uh, you can be kind of governing the consumption of heat and cooling. So you could be efficient on your heating and cooling. So you have a lot of, a lot of benefits there from an efficiency point of view. Also, because we have the cellular uh, valve and water valve and battery backup for it, insurance carriers are often, not always, often giving premium discounts for operators that put in uh, the water valves. We're actually doing some very large strategic projects with insurance carriers where they're incentivizing their insured to put in the valves. So uh, five to 15% premium uh, reduction in buildings that have the, the tech. So a lot of things on the expense side uh, of takeouts. And at the end of the day, if your NOI uh, favorable, then your valuation is better. You sell the building in the marketplace, it's a more valuable property on the exit. So, you know, I look at a lot of uh, operators, syndicators, where they'll say, all right, I'm going to do value add, paint, carpet, beautification. <laughs> paint, cool. Those things are great, but the durability of that, it may be more limited. This is, you put it in when you acquire the property, you operate for five to seven years. Every moment that you have it there is providing value to you. So mm -hmm. it really is a great addition to the projects. What I'm trying to evangelize now a lot in the social spheres is underwrite smart, 
meaning not just smart, oh. integrate with smart in mind. So that's kind of one of my tag uh, lines, but right. on smart. You put it into your considerations when you do the projects as part of your capital plan, as part of your business plan. That's really funny because now that you say that out aloud, I, I'm like, yeah, I have noticed that in your in your posts, <laughs> but I wasn't, you know, it's one of those it's subconscious, but we're having a very deliberate conversation about it. So yeah, it totally makes sense. It's subtle. It's little, little sprinkles of it. Not every day, but yeah, get, get people to think about it. And then most people, when I tell them like how much they could benefit by it, they're like, yeah, next project, we got to do something. We got to have a conversation. So I absolutely welcome that. Oh, yes, yes. So tell me, do you have an example of, you know, kind of a case study example that you can share with us of, of you know, somebody sure. that saved yeah. in some capacity? Yeah, we have many, many projects that are deployed already. We just finished up a project in the Boston area where they implemented all the technologies, the full suite of everything we offer. It's a oh, new wow. construction delivery. So, you know, they're really enjoying the, the benefit of it. And they've already, you know, contracted with us to do the next property, which I think is going to be about 60 units. Um, we're doing a pilot with a military housing provider. They're looking at it very, very seriously on a very large uh, scale. We have some insurance firms that want to recommend us and put, you know, like I said, put into their insured properties. Uh, a, a number of different ones. We have a class A operator that between us and some other high-tech enablement, they want to charge up to $72 more per unit per month. That's real money on you know, a wow. multi-hundred unit project. Uh, they're using uh, smart building technology as part of their strategy. They're even including it in their offering memorandums that it's gonna be part of the, the business model. They're doing things, you know, besides smart building tech with us, they're putting in like charging stations for Tesla. They're doing some solar projects. Uh, so they're really going all, all in uh, on it. I have another operator uh, capital firm that I'm working with that's in Ohio that basically his entire business thesis is every single property that he'll buy will be smart tech enabled. So he's kind of been searching around for a comprehensive uh, solution. Uh, very excited about what we put in front of them so far. So we're in discussions to roll out on an 80 unit uh, project with him and many, many more in the pipeline. So yeah, it's been a very busy, uh, busy year for us and a, a lot of, a lot of projects uh, going on. There are some of the case studies on our website as well. That's exciting. So about how much money are people saving or, or producing, uh, you know, when they implement smart this smart technology sure so i mean it's on a case first of all it's, every building is different as you know it's on a case-by-case -case basis right when we talk about insurance premium uh discount could be five to fifteen percent uh That's, off let's when, just let's just point out how huge that is since insurance rates have gone yeah. up dramatically so that type of savings is yes yeah, uh, that's one metric that we look at. We look at the efficiency that's afforded by being able to do unattended showings where, you know, many people say they won't lease in a building if they can't tour it on their own uh, time. I think that's like around 30% of people walk away from properties just because they don't like the, the leasing experience. 90% of the damage in residential uh, realty is related to water. So the avoidance on that is, is substantial. Um, having energy star thermostat typically around 20% or more savings by being, you know, energy star compliant. And then just the avoidance of a lot of uh, problems that are reactive problems. When you're okay. using a solution like this and you're really uh, taking full advantage of it and integrating it into your operation, you turn to be much more proactive than reactive. The reactive problems in the commercial multifamily world are very costly. The night incidents, yeah. the lockouts, the locksmithing, uh, they all become, you know, problems versus, okay, we see that the air conditioning is not working effectively or someone left, you know, the heat blasting in a unit that they were painting and then it was set like that for months. Uh, you know, we've had a case in an office building application. We do get involved with them occasionally and someone left water running for 
prolonged period of time. Uh, they weren't in the office because of COVID. They came back, they had a water bill that was in like, you know, the tens of thousands of dollars. Where, oh my gosh. Again, with the tech in place, that would have been caught within like, you know, a day. So there's massive cases where, you know, this would have really saved people's bacon. And then, you know, many, many people that we talked to, they're in Texas or they have properties in Texas. In the winter time, there was a whole freeze up uh, event, low temperature pipes bursting all over the place. Mm -hmm. We could have prevented all that, you know, in the properties uh, that would have been protected by this, we would have seen the temperature drop, could have proactively shut the water, no burst, no, no problems in the building. So it, it's widespread where the advantage is. But again, it's like we, we work with the owners and the, you know, property management teams to kind of really dive into the use case on the property, figure mm -hmm. out what's the best fit for them. So, oh my gosh. Yes. I love smart tech. I think it's amazing. And when we're looking at um, underwriting as you know, those who are listening are thinking this all sounds great, but everyone assigns a value in their head. Right. And that's what we want. We want people to value the products that we have to offer. And mm -hmm. so, you know, for example, a lot of times people, when they go to buy a new house, they'll say, oh, it needs new carpet. And in their minds, they put a, you know, oh, that's going to be like $20,000. Uh -huh. And so we're not going to get this house because we have to put new carpet in. And in reality, maybe it would be that much or maybe it'd be less, right? We all know it depends on what carpet they choose. So as people are listening to this and they're thinking, wow, gosh, that's an extraordinary, I'm going to save on my insurance and insurance has gone up so much. I'm going to, you know, protect myself in all these other ways. And wow, this is going to be great. I won't have to have the locksmith rekey. I mean, there's so many advantages to the system and they're, they're seeing that and they are assigning a value and they're like, oh my gosh, something like this is just going to cost me, you know, triple digit thousands of dollars. This is going to be too much. So mm -hmm. What, what percentage, is there a basic underwriting fundamental that people can use? Yeah, um, I, de definitely. So what I would say is, uh, first of all, all the pricing that we offer or much of it is on our website. So there is transparency around price. Uh, that's one of the things that we think is important in being in this business to tell people what things actually cost. The mm -hmm. cellular hub is $125, the door lock is $200 for a, you know, electronic lock. Uh, and that's like your bait, your like entry point to it. Some of the applications have more complex, you know, door uh, hardware, but assume 200 for the uh, lock, uh, $135 for a thermostat. So, you know, we, we definitely have the metrics. They're out there. Anyone that's doing a deal or considering, uh, buying a property can look look it up on our website we do have an roi calculator i would say on a retrofit application with a good complement of tech it's 500 dollars a unit if you're looking at a new construction application where you want to do everything and really dress it out more towards a thousand per unit so that's kind of where your your metrics are Again, on a new construction application, I've been involved with uh, commercial real estate development, multifamily construction projects. Some of those projects could be 30 to $50 million on like a hundred unit building. If you're putting a couple hundred thousand uh, of tech into a 30 to $50 million project, you're not really moving the needle uh, too no. dramatically. It should be part of what you do. And the value that you're going to see is going to pay for itself, you know, many, many factors over. So, you know, with new construction applications, the sooner you get us involved, the better off you will be because we can really work with your MEP teams and figure out where the, all the stuff should go. But we do a ton of retrofit work also. So I'd say 500 uh, to get in the game on the retros and 1,000 for the new. That's fantastic. It's really helpful to at least have some type of ballpark and everyone, you know, if you, all the awesome listeners, you know, you got to take that into account. Your situation is going to be unique. Maybe you want more bells and whistles. Maybe you want, a, you know, only most of it. So you're going to be able to underwrite it. Well, you know, 
that five hundred dollars or a thousand. Absolutely, That's... and you're and you're getting with, with the five hundred the cellular technology, the lock, and the thermostat. That's probably where you're going to come out. So you're getting you know a good amount of control, and you're avoiding a lot of problems at that price point. We could be lower if you take less. We could be more if you take more. That's why right. you have to kind of engineer the solution to the building, not the building, not kind of start this way and work backwards. It's got you have to have the building, the thought process in mind, and and you get the right answer. Absolutely. So, and do you guys go in there and install, and in, in is that included in the fee already? So, installation is kind of an interesting topic. We we run into a bunch of different flavors there. So on smaller jobs, you may have teams that are like, okay, send me the equipment, give me a level of training and we'll have our own trades uh, do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we run into other applications where the projects are much larger and they want installation services. We have multiple providers that are 50 state and Canada coverage where they'll do a site survey of the property uh, work up like what the labor estimates uh, are and then you know we'll get our our trade groups to go do the job for them so if they need installation services to support we're we're built to be able to support that 50 states love it love it and how much more are we going to factor in for installation again varies by project and property because it depends on which parts they're taking if you do everything, you could be touching plumbing, electrical, HVAC, low voltage cabling. Uh, there's a there's a number of different uh, locksmithing. So there's a number of different parts that you'll touch. A big project could be five different trades working on on the project. Okay. All right. I'm assigning a huge value to that right now, Jeff. <laughs> Because it, it obviously it doesn't make it cost prohibitive. It's still. Yeah, abs absolutely. I mean, the, the negotiated labor rates are definitely uh, competitive. The other thing that we're starting to look at, I guess, on the, the cost and the operational side of it, number one, there are some groups that want to take it as an OPEX um, model instead of like CAPEX. So mm -hmm. what we what we can do there is, you know, look at the hold period on the property. Let's say you're going to buy and hold for five years. We can take the cost of the solution over the five year uh, period. So that oh, might soften it up, you know, a bit for, you know, many, many operators, particularly if you're in like year one or two where you're trying to stabilize. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't want so maybe you don't want so much upfront capital. So that's an interesting uh, model. That and then is. the other thing that we're running into is some people want us to run the technology for them. So they want the tech, they want the tech enablement, they want the protection, they want the insurance premium discount, but they're like, yeah, my property manager, eh, not so great. Or we're just really busy. They are great, but they're just too busy. They can't do this too. You know, can you do it for us? So we're building uh, to be able to support that uh, as well and treat it as smart building as a service. So you have the tech and you have the service to operate it. And then we'll notify you, hey, there's a water leak in apartment 302. Go look at that. Instead of you having to you know, look at all the alerts and dashboards and things that come with it. So we're aggressively moving in the direction to be a fully managed service provider. That is really, really amazing. I love it. Well, Jeff, as we wrap up this segment of who are you and what do you do? Um, is it how are people going to get to know you aside from LinkedIn? Is there another way that you would want them to reach out to you and connect? Uh, that, I would say LinkedIn is definitely the, uh, the great one. I'm on all the social channels, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, uh, you could find me on all of those, uh, definitely our website, epropertycare.com and also, you know, can schedule times, uh, on my Calendly, uh, Calendly.com, Jeff Hawk, Jeff dash Hawk slash 30 minute. So, uh, all, all of the above. And Hawk is with a O C H H O C H. Cause I called you Jeff Hotch earlier and I'm like, Oh, I did not catch that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, no worries. Com <laughs> commonly done. I'm used to it. Oh, I don't. I don't even flinch. Okay, I get called Holly all the time, so maybe we're 
I kind of get it. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much for giving us all of this amazing information. And for those of you listening, this is really relevant information um, across lo lots of real estate um, investment classes. So definitely put this into consideration as you are, you know, reviewing your next deal or reevaluate what you have in your portfolio and see how this might help you save some money. Um, you don't know what winter is going to bring. Okay. Um, please make sure that if you enjoy this episode, please let us know. Rate, review, and let us know something that you gained from the episode. And remember that this is the first episode of the week. So make sure you stay tuned because we're going to get into, you know, what is Jeff actually consciously pursuing and what are some mindset shifts that he's made that have changed his world. So those are to come later this week. Until next time, live big, love bigger. A lot of people missed out on my recent offering because they simply weren't on my investor list. Being on my newsletter list won't provide you with access to the deals I have. This is because 506B regulations require you and I actually discuss your investment goals before I can show you the deals I have. If you're on the fence about investing in apartments, schedule a call today at 3keysinvestments.com. If you think you're new, so you don't want to be on an investor list, you're missing out on opportunities to refine your ability to review offerings because you simply will never see them. So head over to Three Keys Investments and schedule a call.